today I think is two years since I first broadcast as Occupy May Day on the May Day celebrations and so far I can remember going through seven phones that have been needed as upgrades just because the hardware was improving and the software was improving so fast and a further five phones through uh, them being stolen from me or being smashed and this is not a cheap hobby so if anybody wishes further details on how you can donate anything to us we're going through more mobile changes at the moment just because this tool I have isn't currently as good as it could be then feel free to get in touch we'll tell you how you can make a donation uh, towards having the hardware change totally 100% uh, we cannot afford to fund stuff if we fund stuff ourselves, then we need to prioritize our income to assist our funding stuff ourselves directly. If we fund the stuff directly ourselves, we miss out on the opportunity to cover many of the protests. This is the middle of an afternoon. Other streamers that are self-funding are at work. The simple thing would be that one of the major things, historical major things in London, currently would not be getting streamed. And I'm very thankful for the donation of this phone and the further donation where the phone is being upgraded uh, to the latest uh, Samsung Galaxy S4. But just small things like external battery packs, external batteries or internal replacement batteries for Galaxy S4, kind of crucial at the moment. The, long, the more battery power we have, the more we can broadcast. Pure and simple. Thankfully, the march is walking very, very slowly. I'm going to hobble a little bit further forward. And from there, turn around and let everybody see the length of the march as it's coming over Farringdon Bridge above the station. I'm just not surprised at all in the last two years when there were a few of us from Occupy that were doing live stream. You will remember seeing many, many pictures of people like uh, Pedro uh, or... Well, I'm not going to name them all. <laughs> there was a decent-sized media team. And our thanks go out to all of them. It'd be nice if you were back on the street sometimes doing some more streams. However, I am mighty chuffed to see the number of members of the public that have been at protests and or marches previously that have asked what we're doing and will tell them, literally for us to tell you in a class, the type of equipment you need to use and how to use it. It takes minutes to empower somebody to allow them to be able to get their own message out. Uh, Bambuza would give full support to anybody as well. So if anybody wants any training, get in touch. If anybody wants any uh, training as a legal observer through Green and Black Cross, etc., feel free to get in touch and I can pass details to you on ways to get in touch with them or just look them up in a Google search go to them directly but it's about time for me to swap onto the other live stream on Ustream on the ONN channel there's a link to it already on the chat just above so please feel free to come and join us on Ustream just now and we'll continue the broadcast thanks
Thanks for sharing again.